Hello, test one, two, three. So I just want to show everybody a, uh, a great way you can edit the SDS 200 files. And uh, this is the Sentinel program, which is Unitin's program that you should be using to program the unit in SDS 200. Uh, so I'll just show you an example of how this works uh, using the flat files, which is a great thing that unit and did they didn't use compiled files with some uh, a pro scan I believe their files are compiled and you can't open it up with notepad now the program that I use is called notepad plus plus and you could get notepad plus plus at just about any uh, well I was gonna say store on uh, just Google notepad plus plus and you'll be able to download notepad plus plus and there's actually an option that says, if you do not know which version, use this version. And that's a good way to go. And it's like a notepad on steroids. <coughs> um, so let's start off with Sentinel. And let's go ahead to Arizona. Let's see, Arizona, where are you? And we'll look at Maricopa County. Click on the county system. And we'll come down to RWC, which is uh, most of the PDs. Just open this up a little bit. RWC, there you go, the regional wireless. So this is most of the PDs in uh, Arizona. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and let's, uh, let's make one for public safety. So we'll add that to favorites. I like to put a number so I know what uh, channel I'm going to set it to, or bank, whatever, how you ever want to call it. So we'll call this uh, DPS. And we'll save that. And let's create a second one. We'll grab, um, let's grab Phoenix. Uh, uh, Peoria, please. Let's grab, uh, yeah, we'll just grab the 500. That's the busiest area in uh, Phoenix. We'll add that and we'll call that. Uh, PHX PD keeping the name short and let's go ahead and go to the Topaz and we'll grab Mesa so that's RWC Mesa's under uh, where are you mm -hmm. there you go Topaz so grab uh, Gilbert Police, Mesa Police Department, and we'll add Mesa. And we'll make that the third bank. So we'll call that Mesa PD. So we'll go ahead and we'll just save. Now, as you save in your documents folder, it begins to build the lists here on their favorite lists. Now, what you want to remember to always do is click on this icon this will give you this pop-up and you always want to go in there and turn these on so you highlight it shift hour down click on on and it turns them on so now if you were to upload it to your scanner or to upload and I like to save after I do every action so now if we want to go in here and edit I can click on the star Say, uh, let's go to Mesa. I left the A out. Okay, but that's good. I can show you how you can edit that. So this is the editing portion of the Sentinel software. We have Mesa. Say I want to set that on channel 2. So we come in here and check, click quick key 2. And we got Mesa Police Department, Florence. Okay, now I can come in here. And uh, so for Mesa Police... The sites are just the Mesa simulcast. I don't need Shaw Butte or Thompson Peak. Thompson Peak is usually the fire. But we're going to save that anyway. I'm going to show you how you can edit outside of Sentinel. So we have that information in there. And if we open up Phoenix PD and we come to Phoenix Central, we'll see uh, Dispatch B. And keep this in mind, it says Phoenix, right? and dispatch B, dispatch A. 
and these all say Phoenix too, all right? So I'm gonna close Sentinel. Now this is the cool pop spot, or cool part. And I want to edit all the Phoenix to say PHX, right? I wanna add the A to the Mesa and take out those other groups. So how would you do that? Well, you can highlight all the files in your favorites. Right click, edit with notepad, and it will open all these files up. And the way this works is this main file here tells uh, the scanner what the um, what the other files and the channels that it's assigned to. I accidentally assigned uh, Mesa and Phoenix as channel two. So if we were to open up Sentinel again, and we look at it, you see that I have channel two and channel so I, I got some things to fix. So what I can do is actually in Notepad++, just go ahead in here, change this to three. And um, I gave that a uh, bank of two. We'll give that a bank of three. Actually, let's go in here and give uh, Phoenix uh, the bank of two. And we'll go and uh, give DPS bank one. So I just added that. Now, what I can do um, for a, a mass edit is say anything that says Phoenix, I want it to say um, PHX instead. So I'm going to say replace. I'm just going to say Phoenix. So anything that says Phoenix. I'm going to replace with PHX because I want to make it shorter. And what we're going to say is replace all open documents. So we're going to replace all of these and all the open documents here. So there's only five. Now you can see these are red. That's because it made the changes in those documents. Let's go ahead and save. That one didn't make a change, so we don't have to save. So we're going to save. And anything that says dispatch. I want to change that to a short, so we'll just call it this B T C H, right? And we'll also change all of those. We made seven changes, so we'll go ahead and save the files that it made those changes in. Okay. Now the other thing I want to do is come into Mesa. So we'll look at here. So Mesa is F3, so it's this file here. And I don't need the Florence, so we'll just go ahead and take out Florence. And I, uh, so I can hit Q, uh, uh, Z, Control Z, that goes back one step. So we took out Florence. Now we only need the first four frequencies in the simulcast, because those are the control channels. So we'll take those out. Now we don't need Shaw Butte and Thompson Peak, so we'll take those out. <clears throat> and we're left with all these, but uh, we'll save that and I'm going to show you something else. So what does it look like in Sentinel? Now when we open Sentinel up, Sentinel is uh, going to reflect. See, now it's the only simulcast with four frequencies. Right? But now I have all these other um, IDs in here that I don't need. So let's close Sentinel, going back to the editing uh, software, Notepad++. We'll just do a mass, uh, or we'll highlight all these, just delete them all, just like that. We'll save it. So now Mace is nice and clean. Uh, Phoenix, uh, we don't need all this stuff in Phoenix. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do a major uh, delete of all of these sites and the only thing we're going to leave in Phoenix is the actual Phoenix site and see it, it if I open up uh, we didn't save this yet so it's not going to reflect but if we look at uh, Phoenix Phoenix is going to have all of these different simulcasts in here right ones that we don't need this is the only one that we need for Phoenix so what I'm doing is just manually taking out of uh, Notepad++. And once you get to learn it, it is really so much easier than using the software. So I'm Cash Chandler. So here we go in Phoenix. And I only need the first uh, four frequencies 
in Phoenix. So I'll show you what that looks like in the Sentinel software when we have all those frequencies. And the more frequencies is the more frequencies it scans. And if you don't need those, then you don't need those. So if we come to Phoenix, uh, see these are all the f uh, frequencies under uh, RWC for Phoenix. But as soon as I save this now, and we open up the Sentinel software now, we'll see the edits. So here's just the simulcast for Phoenix with only four frequencies. And uh, if you notice also with that mass edit we did, everything that said Phoenix before it just says PHX now. Anything that said dispatch is shortened to DSPTCH. So we made some edits across multiple different areas of the software um, going right through the flat file here. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll close this and we're just going to double check one more thing and what I didn't do is add the A on Mesa so we'll just add the A on Mesa and I'll close the editing software the notepad plus plus and you can open it up in just regular notepad and do the same thing so let's go ahead and look at Sentinel so from that big dirty list I could spend a lot of time going in there and cleaning it up, or I can open it up in something like Notepad++, do a couple of manual mass edits, and it cleans up the files fairly quickly so they're nice and neat. So that is my preferred way of doing edits in the Sentinel software because the files, and just to go over it one more time, all the files are kept under my documents, unit in, favorite list, and here are the files right here. And the way the files are uh, architect is, or constructed, I should say, is you have your sites here, which are the um, frequencies. And then under that, you have your groups with the IDs that match up with the, uh, with the very specific uh, channels that will transmit. And this is the best way, I think, to edit. So there you go. Just a quick video, a quick tutorial. And I hope you got something out of that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. Thank you.